In modern air warfare, victory often belongs to the side that strikes first and remains unseen. Beyond visual range, or BVR, air-to-air -air missiles have redefined aerial combat, allowing fighter jets to destroy enemies long before they even appear on radar scopes. BVR missiles are designed to engage targets at distances far beyond the pilot's visual sightline, often over 100 kilometers away. They rely on advanced radar, satellite data, and data link guidance to strike with precision from incredible ranges. Unlike short-range dogfight missiles, BVR systems combine active radar seekers, powerful rocket motors, and advanced mid-course guidance. The result, a missile that can be fired, guided mid-flight, and even redirected toward a new target, all in real time. Let's start with the most widely used BVR missile in the world, the American AIM-120AM RAAM. In service since the 1990s, it has evolved through continuous upgrades. The latest variant, the AIM-120D3, has an estimated range exceeding 160 kilometers, enhanced no-escape zones, and modern data links. It remains the backbone of NATO and US Air Forces. To counter emerging threats, the US is developing the AIM-260J ATM, expected to enter service by 2026. Its exact range is classified but projected to surpass 200 kilometers, directly responding to China's rapidly advancing missile capabilities. Europe's answer to this arms race is the MBDA Meteor, a technological masterpiece using a ramjet propulsion system instead of a standard rocket. This allows it to maintain energy deep into flight, creating a huge no-escape zone. With operational ranges reported up to 200 kilometers, the Meteor equips the Rafale, Eurofighter Typhoon, and Gripen fleets. China's PL-15 is among the most advanced BVR missiles in existence today. Designed by the Luoyang Aircraft Missile Institute, it features an active AESA radar seeker, two-way data link, and a dual pulse motor. Reported range estimates vary from 200 to 300 kilometers, surpassing the AMRAAM in reach. It's carried by China's J-10C, J-16, and J-20 stealth fighters. An even longer-range variant, the PL-17 or PL-21, is under testing, intended to target support aircraft like AWACS and aerial refuelers at over 400 kilometers. This could radically alter the balance in future air campaigns by threatening command aircraft deep behind enemy lines. Russia, meanwhile, relies on the R-77 series and its heavyweight cousin, the R-37M. The R-77-1 remains a workhorse BVR missile for Su-35 and MiG-35 fighters, with a range around 110 kilometers. The R-37M, however, can reach 300 kilometers and speeds up to Mach 6, optimized for killing high-value targets such as AWACS or bombers. Other nations are catching up. India is developing the Astra MK2 and MK3, with expected ranges up to 160 kilometers, while Japan's AAM-4B uses an AESA seeker for precise tracking. Even smaller powers are racing to join the BVR club, realizing that modern air combat is increasingly decided beyond sight. In BVR warfare, range alone doesn't guarantee victory. The actual edge comes from networked sensors, real-time data sharing, and electronic countermeasures. Modern fighters rely on AWACS, ground radars, and satellite links to feed targeting data mid-flight, making aerial warfare as much about information as weaponry. The result? Air combat has moved away from traditional dogfighting toward long-range duels, where pilots may never even see the enemy they engage. Stealth, sensors, and electronic warfare now decide who detects first, who fires first, and who survives. The power of BVR missiles was vividly demonstrated during the 2025 India-Pakistan aerial clashes. Pakistan's J-10C fighters, equipped with PL-15 missiles, reportedly engaged Indian aircraft from long ranges. According to Reuters and the Washington Post, several Indian jets, including Rafals, were downed during the multi-day conflict. 
Pakistani sources claimed the PL-15 achieved kills beyond 150 kilometers, shocking Indian defense planners. In the future, air forces will prioritize sensor integration, longer-ranged interceptors, improved electronic warfare, and tactics to protect AEW systems and tankers, while procurement races will push doctrine towards standoff engagement and layered air defense suppression. BVR missiles have completely changed how dogfights play out. It's no longer about who sees who first, but who fires first. If you found that fascinating, drop a like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments what weapon systems we should cover next.